What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another coin hunt and it's £500 worth of £2 today. They're in um, not sealed bags, they're in bank bags. But we'll have a look, see what we can find. Let's have a quick look in the book, remind ourselves what we need. Lots to find still on the £2 side. Haven't ever found a Commonwealth, never. I've done loads of coin hunts before I started making videos and I've never found a Commonwealth. Found those before, but still need a London centenary of the Olympics, 1908. Mary Rose, surprised we've not found that to be honest so far. Still looking for a tube train and the HMS Royal Oak Navy Centenary. Quite a few of them out and about recently, so you never know, we might be able to pick one of those up. And then we still need comedies as well. But let's get into it, see what we can find. I'm always a bit dubious with these bags from the post office but I'm going to stay positive our last 50p hunt wasn't great was it let's hopefully we can do a bit better this time oh, I spotted something there in one of them and we have a spillage again and again we have a find in the spillage let's not pile all them on the scissors so I end up hurting myself is that where it's come out of? I'm not sure. Let's get into it. Of course, this is technologies, the standard design up until part way through 2015. We're not really looking for any of those. There's no real low mintage ones. What we are looking for is any commemoratives. And there's our first. And that's Charles Darwin. 200 years, 1809 to 2009. It's a cool design. But a pretty common coin. Let's see what else we can find in there. Hope that everyone is well. Congrats to those giveaway winners. There's the Active Union. Again, pretty common. It's to commemorate the Union of Scotland and England, of course. We will have a close look through the coins after the hunt at a leisurely pace to see if there's any any errors or anything that jumps out at me. There's Brunel's portrait, another pretty common one. Um, the only technologies worth keeping your eye out for, really, in my opinion, is a really good condition 1999. Of course, they weren't in the year set that year. So everybody who does the full date runs is looking for a nice one. And there's a shiny Lord Kitchener. Very nice condition. Again, though, pretty common. I was keeping all of mine. Oh, we have to check for the meal, don't we? Oh, it does say £2 there. There is one with an incorrect obverse die used, allegedly. There's not many of them about by the by the look of it. I think I've only ever seen one person with one, so but we keep checking. Oh, whoops, I forgot to turn my phone on to airplane mode. There we go, there's Charles Dickens. Another awesome design, I think, the way that the portrait is made up with all the words. But again, Pretty common. Would be nice to find something for the book today. Fair few gaps there to fill. I think something like a Mary Rose or the um, Olympic Centenary is probably doable. There's St Paul's Cathedral and a celebration of VE Day, VE Day anniversary. 60 years. Again, pretty common. Well, very common. The most common, in fact. Oh, this, this is the one we had the spillage from, because this is definitely light on coins. 
And there's a couple of finds, ones we've had already today. Brunel's portrait on the right, and another Dickens on the left. There's another Lord Kitchener. Florence Nightingale there, another pretty common one, but a very cool design. Looks particularly awesome in uh, well, that was a fake for a minute, in bunk or proof, you know, amazing coin. There's another active union. We're getting a lot of the common ones. Something a bit special would be nice. There's Bruno Arches there, Paddington Station. That's not a bad condition one actually, and if I remember rightly, last time we went through the book, did I say we needed to try and keep an eye out for a better condition one of those? Let's have a look. I think our one's a bit naff. Yeah, look. So we'll definitely replace that. Put that down there so we remember. Nothing in the rest of that bag. Oh, we found something. We found a Britannia. Of course, the definitive chat design changed from the technologies partway through 2015. Only circulated in 2015 and 2016 so far. Uh, 2015, the more scarce one, isn't it? Let's see what year it is. It's so 2016. Still a nice find. Find of the hunt so far. It's been a while since I've found one at all. Both years of the circulated Britannia, um, far lower mintage than any of the technology is. There's an active union. Hopefully we might see another circulated year of the Britannia £2 sometime soon. There's another Brunel portrait. Lots of the common ones, guys. Lots of shiny 2015 ones. There's a 1999 Rugby World Cup. Cool design, I think. But pretty common. Let's keep going. We keep the faith. I only take one coin. You know, it's been so long since I found a territory two pound as well. So hard to come by. There's 
There's a Guy Fawkes gunpowder plot. Again, one of the common ones. And there's another Florence Nightingale. One, two, three, four, five, six more bags. We hope. There's another Rugby World Cup. Another act of union. That's four of those we found. There's another Guy Fawkes. It's quite a shiny 2014 there. We might keep that for the date run. We'll have a look, see if that's the best one we've got. Getting so tough to find anything in these two pound hunts now, I feel, I feel. Especially from the post office. I was pessimistic at the start. I mean, we've had a nice spread, but just finding new things for the book, so tricky. What would be nice is to be able to get sealed bags of two pounds, but just don't see them, do you? can pretty much guarantee that a lot of this, if not all of it, is what someone else who's hunting. Oh yes, we found something. <laughs> someone else has banked, I was going to say, but no one's going to be banking that. Look at that corker. Absolutely stunning condition. Great fire of London. 2016. What a peach. Find of the hunt? Undoubtedly. There have been a few of these about recently. This and the Navy Centenary seem to have a load of them released in circulation recently. Of course, Christopher had bags and bags of them. Awesome. Save the hunt, second from last bag. Again though, it's not new for the book, as lovely as it is to find. We're still struggling to make progress on the book. But that's the 500 quid done. We've done okay. We've done okay in the end. It was looking bad for a while, but I think the Great Fire of London has saved us. It's pulled us out of the fire, as it were. But that's a lovely find. Also, a Britannia 2016. Always nice to find. Very shiny 2014 for our date run. Lovely condition. Very nice indeed, and an improvement in quality for Brunel Arches there because the one in the book's not very good at all. So, four keepers, I guess, um, and I'll have a close look through. You never know, there might be a slight error or something in there. We will check, and I'll let you know at the beginning of the next hunt. Let's come back and see us for that one and find out what was in there in that regard. Probably nothing, <laughs> but we always check, you know. You've got to check for these rotation errors. So after the hunt, I'll be going for each one, lining it up like this, flipping it over, and making sure the queen is the right way around. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. See you soon.